Hello everyone and welcome to another Rise of Kingdoms video. This is Dragothian here and today we're going to be talking about the Gathering Talent Tree and continuing our Talent Tree guide series that we're coming out with where we go through all the different talent trees and teach you how to maximize those trees for what you're trying to do in the game and then just as importantly just give you each reason why we're doing it so that you can take that knowledge and apply it to your specific commanders and how you've got them specced in the game so you can maximize your style of play because not everybody plays the game the same way. I want everybody to understand why I pick the decisions that I make so that you can use those same pieces of knowledge whenever you go and put this into the game for your own account and then you can have the maximum benefit of what I'm trying to show you guys so that you can use how you want to use it and it all makes sense and meshes together. So with that being said, we're talking about the gathering tree today and as we do that, it's one of the most critical things in the game, gathering. It's, it's, it's the thing that's kind of the unsung hero of the game where everybody has to gather. You have to gather. It's like everybody has to sleep, right? Um, or at least some of us. <laughs> uh, not all of us, but some of us. Most people have to gather and most people have to sleep. Um, gathering is so critical into this game. You've got to do it. Everybody has to do it. That's how you maximize your city and leveling it up efficiently and effectively. You have to use gathering for getting resources to max out your research, which is super critical for everything from economy all the way up to war. Certainly, you have to do this when you're talking about supporting an alliance and taking care of an alliance and growing an alliance um, in the Lost Kingdom, in um, just helping grow your, your alliance mates grow. And then certainly, as you're training up troops, healing up troops when you're battling, all of those things take resources. And if you're not doing it as effectively as possible, you're hindering yourself. You're hampering yourself from growing as fast as you should be. So that's why I wanted this next talent tree guide to be the gathering talent tree because it's one of the most critical components of the game and most people don't talk about it because I've seen a lot of people kind of really dig into it and maximize it like I'm about to show you. And then I've seen other people that are T5, like heavy T5 that haven't even leveled up their commanders yet. I'm going to show you why that's a mistake and then what my thoughts are on what you need, not just in this tree, but all the different other principles on some of the other trees that will go with a gatherer so that not only are you going to do what you're supposed to do with this tree, but you're going to pick the other things that are in the other trees for these other commanders that are gatherers so that you can maximize to the most benefit your gathering time in the game. Because the faster you can get gathering done, the faster you can get to the resource nodes and the more troops you can have at one time. Those are the critical pieces um, for your gatherers. So before we jump into it, just want to remind everybody this is a sponsored content creation channel for Rise of Kingdoms. So if you're into this kind of stuff and learning how to maximize your gameplay, learning how to um, really just kind of do what you're supposed to do in the game and really maximize everything you've got going on, seeing high level content, all that good stuff, all the fun stuff, uh, certainly Sipping Saturdays is also a good time here on this channel. Um, please like and subscribe if you've not done so already. Hit the bell notification so that you know when I have put out a new video so you can get first to it and beat Skywalker out because he's always first. So with that being said, let's jump into it. The Gathering Talent Tree. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of spec this out as if it was a brand new commander just so you can see why I'm picking what I'm picking and why I'm picking it. Yeah, that's right. So let's go ahead and open up the Talent Tree. First one's a mark speed bonus. We absolutely want that. We just talked about it. We want to get to the node as fast as possible so we can start gathering as fast as possible. On top of that, once the node is complete, we want to get home as fast as possible. So march speed is a critical component of gathering. You have to have as much march speed as possible, as often as possible, so that you can get to and get back from those resource nodes. Because the faster you do that, the faster you can send them out again. And that, that exponentially stacks on top of each other. So after months of playing this game, you've made billions of resources more than you would have if you did not have those march speeds. Pretty cool, right? So that unlocks the next two tiers. You need to unlock these two to get to the rest. So these are the first critical component tier inside of the gathering tree. It gives, when you've maxed them out, 30% to each resource that you can gather on the open field in a regular kingdom. The only one that's not listed here that you can gather inside of a regular kingdom is gems, which there is a gem component in the, the uh, economy tech inside of your academy, but there is not one inside of the gathering tree. This only applies to food, wood, stone, and gold. So that's what this is. Now, 
let's go farther down the tree and see what we want to get to. Why do we want to get to there and what are we getting to? So this here is tourniquet. This is a battle type of a talent. Again, you should not be battling with your gatherers. These are gathering commanders using siege units, preferably because those are the most efficient farming units in the game to gather resources because you have more troop load per unit. So that means that you can put more resources in your pack when you take it back to your city with a treb or a siege unit, a catapult, a mangonel, or a battering ram, I, I, I got them all, um, versus an infantry unit or an archer unit or certainly a cavalry unit. Cavalry, while fast, is also very light on the load count. So you want to be using siege units to gather because you don't have to put as many out there, which means that you, if you do have a farmer killing problem or if it's kill event and your kingdom has not kind of put a stop to that, um, you don't have to worry about um, necessarily healing up as many siege units as if you would have put archers or infantry out there where you might have had 10 times the amount of units on the field and that's more things that you're healing which means less resources that you get to keep so the whole point of this is to get as many resources that you can gather and keep as possible so tourniquet not really necessary we're not going to spec into that but we do like modified axle so march speed of siege units we just talked about that by 10 percent up to 30 percent we're definitely going to want that now Ultimately, we want to get to this puppy, Superior Tools. Superior Tools gives all the different gathering speeds another 25% boost. So you get 30% from this tier here, right? Gathering Mastery, where it gives you each, each additional resource here is a 30% um, gathering speed bonus. This stacks with it. So you have a total of, with this whole talent tree, 55% to all resource gathering speeds. Now, how do we get there, right? You got a bunch of different lines going everywhere. I've already unlocked this bottom one here, and I noticed that this one is not unlocked, meaning that there's another piece inside of this talent tree that I need to unlock to unlock this bubble so I can get to this bubble so that I can get to this bubble, okay? So I'm gonna go over here, unlock this. I'm not gonna get tourniquet, but again, same thing. This defense bubble along with this attack bubble is not unlocked. That means I need to unlock this one because it's linked in the middle, which means I need to unlock this one, which is actually one we want anyway, because it's more March speed. Again, we just talked about that too. And again, I've got to get this one to unlock the two outer ones, which we just did. So again, these two are also attack and defense. I don't need those. These two I don't really need, but I need them to get to superior tools. So I'm going to unlock them. And then that opens up the second to last tier before we get to superior tools. Let's talk about the more the better first though. So the more the better. This is one that gives you, and it's kind of an anomaly because a lot of people don't understand it, so I'm gonna explain it. This gives you an additional 6% resources upon completion of gathering. So once you're done gathering and you get back to your city, you're supposed to get 6%, which is awesome. That's exactly what we want. We don't wanna spend any more time to get free resources. That's exactly what we want. We're gonna spend the time gathering anyway. Why not get more? That's exactly what we want. So. How do I know how this works? Well, when you come back and you farmed, you farmed a tile, you come back to your city, your gatherers arrive, you get a report. On that report, it says, hey, we gathered 750,000 resources. Awesome, You're, you guys are awesome. I'm gonna send you out again to do the exact same thing. Don't get, don't get rested, get back out there. Well, before you do that, if you take a peek at that 750,000 resource report, to the right of it, if you've got the more the better, and there's also other skills on other gatherers that also give you similar benefits to the more the better, where they give you additional resources gathered after completion. You're going to see a little green number to the right of it, and it'll say plus and then a number. That number is the more the better and or the skill that I was just talking about on other commanders that give you something similar to this. So it's basically free resources. You got to have it. There's no reason not to. It's the most efficient way. You have to do it. Um, and again, to get here, it's not that much from a leveling perspective to get here, but you've got to do it. I'm going to tell you exactly what you're going to need to get the maximum tree that you're going to want too. So um, the more the better, definitely get it. That number to the right of the number that you see inside of your, um, your, your gathering report that you get from your commanders coming back, that's this. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Again, we don't need this one here, armed convoy. However, we have to get it to get to superior tools which is the one that we really wanted from the get-go after we got these first four 
on the top there all done. So we got the 30% from all that first tier. We got superior tools, which is another 25%, totaling 55%. We do basic maths here. And then also, the more the better gives you an additional percentage after you've already completed everything, which is really, really nice. And again, you've also got some significant march speed with modified axle, with march speed all troops and march speed all troops. You want all that stuff, okay? All that combines to giving you the best gathering tree available to you on your gathering commanders. To get to here, you need to be level 40, okay? If you don't want to be level 40 and you only want to be level 37, which is the, the gold standard of having a commander, which is mostly what my commanders are, to be honest. Most of my gathering commanders are level 37 because I get everything except for the modified axle. I want to get modified axle, but I wanted to spend more of my XP time leveling battle commanders instead of the gathering commanders. That being said, that's not the most efficient way. That's what this video is about, is the most efficient way to do gathering. And to do that, you need march speed. And this is a significant chunk of march speed that you're missing if you don't have it specced in. So to get to here, you need to be level 40. To be without modified axle, you need to be level 37, which is the gold standard of the minimum best gathering commander because you still get all the gathering speeds you still get most of the march speeds with these two here, but this one's obviously a biggie. A big, big, big march speed bonus to siege units, which again is what you're supposed to be using um, on the field. That's what you should be using. Let's talk about a couple other talents that you're going to want to see if you have them available on the other talent trees that are on your gathering commander. This is one right off the bat, Hasty Departure. It gives you a 60%. This is also a march speed, by the way. 60% march speed bonus for the first 10 seconds when you leave the city. Well, what do you do whenever you're sending a, ga a gathering commander army out to gather? Well, you're leaving the city. So that's 60% faster, plus 30%, plus another, what, 9%, plus another 3% here. And then there's another one up here. I think it's this one here. Yep, 3% there. I mean, it starts to stack up. You want to have all those march speeds. You're not using cav, but you're basically using fast cav with... Uh, the, the march speed from these siege units. And if you want to get really squirrely with it, you can use tier one siege units so that they're even faster. So tier one units are faster than tier four or tier five units, which means that these bonuses will stack up even more effectively on a tier one unit than they will on a tier four unit, meaning that you can get there even faster, even without putting a single talent point into any of these talent trees. But this is a must-have if you have it available because another 60% march speed for 10 seconds is huge. Here's another march speed that you could pick up too. You want to basically look around all the different talent trees on your gathering commanders and pick up all the march speeds that you can find. Um, sometimes you'll be able to get all of them. Sometimes they'll be too far spread apart to where you can't get all of them. But just use your points as effectively as possible so that you can get them. The other thing I want you to realize is that there are, tr there are talents that give you troop capacity bonuses. Now, we just talked about you not necessarily needing as many siege units on the battlefield or on, in this case, the gathering field to farm as much as you need to. The reason this would actually make sense to have is because there are alliance nodes. So your alliance can place a mother load or a granary node or a wood, a wood lot or whatever, whatever they call them. And those are basically protected nodes that you can farm at, your whole alliance can. And when that completes building, there can be anywhere between 80 and 140 million resources inside of that node that your whole alliance can send one army to, to farm it. And again, that's usually on a tile that your alliance owns, which again also increases gathering speed with the tech inside of the alliance trees. But you want to go there and you want to send as many troops as possible, especially if you get into it right at the very beginning. Because what's going to happen is if you have increased troop capacity, that means you're going to be able to bring, for instance, if it's a 200,000 um, troop army, you got 3% additional. That's an extra 6,000 uh, siege units that you can bring to that granary or that mother load or that woodlot. Okay? Once you do that, if you're able to gather fully, that's an extra 6,000 siege units worth of gathering that you would not have normally gotten had you not had this talent. So again, same thing. It does take longer to do because you need to fill those other 6,000 up 
but you don't have to come back and then send your armies back out to get those 6,000. It's already right there waiting for you. You can get those resources, come back, and again, those stack with stuff like this where they give you an additional 6% on top of that 6,000 siege units resource worth of resources. Again, we're talking about maximizing, right? That's the way to do it. You want speed, you want gathering speed, like when I say speed, march speed, gathering speed, and you want troop capacity as much as possible. Those are the big three that you want to have for all of your gathering commanders. Now, to maximize even further, again, and we're talking, we're kind of turning this more into a just gathering in general, but this is really about the gathering tree, and this is also where you how you enhance the gathering tree to its biggest effect. You've got an eight hour and a 24 hour gathering speed bonus bonus, a boost, right? So you can stack this with your talent tree, again, maximizing your gathering speed even further. You should always have this on every day. Uh, and the longer you play this game, the longer you will, you know, the bigger you'll start to stack up these boosts so that you can use them every day. Um, you want to stack all that stuff up alongside of obviously these as well as you go through your day as well. Because again, resources are king. You have to be doing it. You see right now, I've got five gatherers out because I'm doing a video. I can't play the game right now. So I'm not killing barbarians. I'm not sending rallies. I'm not joining rallies. I'm going to gather. You have to gather all the time. Sometimes it gets a little frustrating and, and you get a little lazy, but you'll notice a difference whenever you're not gathering versus when you are. And when you're using the build that I just showed you, where you use a Joan, for instance, and we go back to the talent tree I just had, that's this one right here. This is the best talent tree that you can get on the gathering tree. You want to use this for everything gathering related. Same thing with all my other level 37 commanders, right? So we're talking about Cleopatra, for instance. Again, I've got her spec'd out for everything except for that modified axle. I will be getting her to 40 to get the modified axle as well, because that's the best way to do it. But again, we've got hasty departure over here. I want to level her up even further. This is basically an exact replica of Joan of Arc. So you want the same stuff that we just talked about. Same thing with Sarka. You've got gathering speed bonuses, load bonuses, troop capacity bonuses, and attack bonuses, which attack bonuses don't really matter. Um, let's see, where's the other one I, I wanted to show you that gives you the, I think it's Cleopatra. Yeah, you get additional resource packs after she is finished, which is actually a pack, by the way. Um, and then 40% when gathering resource nodes, load bonuses, gathering speed bonuses, and then same thing there. And then Constance, I think, is the one that's got the resource bonus. Here you go. Here's a 10% resource bonus upon completion. I need to max this. This is still another commander I have not maxed. I should have done so a long time ago. Um, I just haven't used the expedition coins to do so. But again, I need to. This is something you should be doing. Max out your resource bonus on your gatherers so that you can gather more efficiently, more effectively, and it stacks up. If you notice, when you go into a city here and you go to more info, there's a four, like at the bottom, it tells you your resource statistics. And I'm, I'm at, I just passed four and a half billion resources gathered with just under one billion resources given out. Now, there are other players that have been playing shorter time than I have that have 6 billion resources gathered because they're more vigilant and they're more dutiful when it comes to putting their gatherers out. And they've also invested a little bit in getting those commanders that I just showed you, giving you maximum effect. So I just want you to know how to do it the most effectively. This is a great skill to have for Constance. I just haven't maxed her out. They have them maxed out. So those are the things that you want to keep in mind. Those are the things that you want to keep in mind whenever you're doing your gathering, getting it together, and, and maximizing the way that you're going to be able to get resources because, again, it's super critical to get those things done. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Again, this is the third iteration of, and let me go ahead and bring that back up so you guys can have it at the very end. Uh, the third iteration of our talent tree guide and uh, with that being said i want you guys to just to see this re real quick again so you have it um, with that being said again this is the best way to do it if you want to maximize this is the build that you want to use and then certainly as you're using for your other commanders if you're doing them for battle which joan is also a battle commander you can use her that way you want to use your trees over here to change it up a bit and take it out of gathering and just go with the march speed and start using the support tree and the mixed troops and stuff like that. So that's what you want to do, okay? 
So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Here's your final build guide right there for the gathering tree, and it still wants me to name it. I don't know why. Um, this is Dragothian signing out. I hope you enjoyed this. Cheers, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.